sports media has a big problem. I'm gonna explain. The New York Post reported on Wednesday that Stephen A. Smith of ESPN could get between eight and $10 million per year in his next contract. And I'm telling you right now, Stephen A. Smith deserves whatever money he gets. But the problem is there's too many people around this country that rail on what Stephen A. Smith does. I wanna to refer to an article that was written by WEI.com's media columnist, Alex Reamer, back on March 21st. In the article, he quotes somebody within the business that's assessing Stephen A. Smith's performance, and this is what he said. Quote, he's incredibly good at delivering lines with a gravity that the subject doesn't deserve, close quote. That's called being good on TV. He can make me feel as the viewer what he's about to say is the most important thing I'll hear all day long. That's what brings me in. When people watch or listen, they want a strong personality. You know, they don't want just vanilla. Stephen A. Smith has a strong opinion and strong opinions are not hot takes. More on that later. I know people all around the industry don't want to admit this. I know you don't want to hear this, but it's true. Having elite journalism or putting elite journalists on the air straight up isn't as important as it once was. Having an entertaining personality is now more important. I don't know why it's so hard to come to terms with. I mean, people had no issues abandoning the landline. Journalists trying to be on TV, and I'm talking about the sports media primarily. They're big men in the NBA. You can still utilize their skills. They're just not nearly as important as they used to be. Nowadays, it's more about entertaining. People watch screens now more to be entertained, whether it's the phone or the TV. It's about being entertained. Stephen A entertains. Strong opinions, and more importantly, a captivating delivery entertains more than just some journalist sitting up there speaking facts and nuggets and information about whatever his topic of expertise is. Especially if you're talking about having a successful studio television show, which is the sports media's greatest challenge nowadays. I can get facts and information in articles, on Twitter, online, anywhere. What I can only get on the screen or on the air and radio in some cases is a captivating delivery that enthralls me. That's the most important part of being on air. Personality has become more important than the facts when pertaining to on-air people. And human being talent is the most important thing in TV and in radio. The talent of the human being. Not their sources, not how well they write, not how connected they are, how good are they on the air. It's about talent. Now here's the other major problem. Why do people rail against Stephen A? Because they consider him a loudmouth hot take artist. First of all, let me ask you this. Who was the one that said, hey, let's give the reserve quiet guy in the corner there his own show? Does that sound like a good idea? But in terms of this hot take misnomer that has run rampant across all of sports media, people have absolutely completely lost sight of what a hot take is. Here's the definition of a hot take. A piece of commentary typically produced quickly in response to a recent event whose primary purpose is to attract attention. That is a hot take. A hot take has nothing to do with how the opinion that's being delivered is delivered. It has nothing to do with the person executing the opinion doing so with fire and passion. It has nothing to do with the volume of their voice. It solely has to do with diction and what that person says. Wikipedia calls hot takes, quote, deliberately provocative commentary. That is a hot take. Not something that's being said with fire and rage. That is not a hot take. Here's one thing somebody tweeted at me recently when they accused me of having a hot take. Quote, energy hot takes all the same, close quote. That is absolutely unequivocally wrong. Somebody else tweeted at me last week when I made the point about how Jared Carabas and Barstool Sports are vitally important to the sport of baseball. They tweeted in response to the points I was making, quote, hot take, but an accurate take. No, absolutely wrong. That's like saying, hey, that guy's a nice jerk. It's an oxymoron. Too many people today in the sports television industry in these suits leading it have become so terrified of being dubbed a hot take artist. They've let that fear get in the way of putting people who are good on TV or on the air on the air. Fear of hot takes have become McCarthyism. If you really listen to what Stephen A says and what Colin Cowherd says and what Skip Bayless says, 95% of what they're saying isn't a hot take. It's a well thought out opinion of whatever topic they're discussing. And opinions are a lot more captivating and a lot different than discussion or analysis or anything else that creates boring, mundane television or on-air talk. I think the people that rail against the Stephen A's, the Skip Bayless's, the Colin Cowherd's, the resentment that those people show is born out of the same place as the hate that people have for Tom Brady because he's so great. There's gotta be a reason that those guys make the most money. And I just think these other operations that are petrified of hot takes and who are about real journalism are missing the boat. Because guess what? Nobody's talking about you. Nobody's railing on you like they do Stephen A. Smith. But guess what else? Nobody's watching. And silence is the worst thing you could have in the media and online. Well, as you know, I'm not on Snapface and all that, so I don't really get those.